My name is Dr. Michael Gold. I'm a dermatologist from Nashville, Tennessee in the United States, and I've been practicing dermatology for over 20 years now. There are a lot of opportunities to use the jet technology in medicine, cosmetic procedures, and so forth. We look at it as a strictly cosmetic procedure, again, from a exfoliating the skin, refreshing the skin, using it in place of microdermabrasion or as an adjunct to those procedures. I think that's a really nice idea. We use the saline and can do that. When we start to look at the more medical side of the business, of where the jet technology can be employed. We can look at very prominently the, the treatment of acne. Acne is one of those skin diseases that we see every day. It's the most common skin disease I see in my office. We can make acne go away um, a lot faster. We can use it as an adjunct for other procedures um, such as photodynamic therapy in preparing the skin um, using the, the jet technology to remove the stratum corneum or top layer of skin and then using this to aid in the process of delivery of the medicine, the photosensitizer to the skin. We are looking at the concept of using this as a lidocaine delivery system um, where we can take lidocaine and use it to numb the skin prior to a cosmetic treatment prior to a medical treatment, especially in those patients that are what we call needle phobic. It's also been used to treat stretch marks with some surprisingly nice results. We as dermatologists find stretch marks to be very difficult to treat. You have to be able to deliver enough energy or substances deep enough that it's actually going to make an affect to that stretch mark and this technology has shown some benefit there. Patients often ask me when they're going to see results from this technology, how fast it works, how many treatments they need, how much downtime is associated with this procedure. Downtime is almost nothing. Everybody that has this done is exceptionally surprised how quick and easy it is. It doesn't take a long time to perform. It feels good during. It feels really good after. And for the next few days to a week, for an exfoliating treatment, this is as good as it gets in, in, in dermatology. One of the nice parts about using the JET technology is the feedback that we get from our patients. The patients are happy, they are liking the clinical results that they're, they're achieving. I think the major comparison for JET technology is microdermabrasion that we have today, and there's different types of microdermabrasion, some that use crystals which have their own inherent problems. And this is a comparable technology. With the jet, we're able to use it for more things. So if a patient comes in and we would normally might just pick a microdermabrasion, I can use the jet technology to exfoliate the skin, make the skin appear healthier, better, feel better, um, look better. If I'm doing a procedure and I want to use something post-procedure, such as a laser re resurfacing or a fractional laser resurfacing, I can use the JET technology as a way to make the skin heal faster, look better after those procedures. I can't do that with microdermabrasion. So there's a lot more places that can be used versus conventional microdermabrasion therapy. With the JET technology, um, we're able to treat patients of all ages um, all skin colors, and that's important because um, this, is, this is a global technology. You can use it as an adjunct treatment or an infusion type of treatment, and, and that's where I see the future of this, um, being able to put things into the skin, whether it be lidocaine, whether it be a toxin, whether it be something else that we haven't even thought of yet, um, that's going to aid our patients and I think there's a lot of possibilities that exist for the JET technology which is again why I've been so excited about in incorporating this into my practice.